tea and preparing mm -hmm. for, is it lunch or dinner? Alera, I don't know about Alera, but I have mine ready. I've got and mine too. Yeah, okay. I to ask you to open oh, the Okay. Okay. Oh, should I do it the other way? The parts, the parts are okay. <laughs> Okay, Janet's in the house, and today we're talking about the etiquette of the napkin. napkins. Hello, Janet. Hello there. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Janet. Good. Good. The art of a napkin. Um, why am I doing this today? You know, we're going to be having so many meals and yeah. dinners, and I mean, this week Christmas alone, annual yeah. dinners. Absolutely. Every evening, there's one event or the other. Not to mention the weddings that are coming up. And you always find that when you go to these dinners, that a lot of people just keep the napkin there and they ride on with the meal. Now, sometimes I think, is it because they don't know that they should use it? or they don't know how to use it or they're just um you know, they're just a bit oblivious of the fact that they should use it at all. But most times, really and truly speaking, you must use a napkin at all times. It does show a bit of polish and decorum, and it shows that you know how to navigate your way through the meal when you're at the table, okay? But then again, I have to say, there are different napkins, and sometimes you use certain napkins for certain meals, right? I've started with the two disposable ones. We're all familiar with this. This yeah, is the simple, small one, and you can't do much with this, and it's usually given at breakfasts or cocktails yes this is actually a very big one even if you open it out and a strong one at that so actually if you have something as big as this you can actually substitute this for the real cloth one and put it on your lap as the case may be but these small ones um, no you can't use wipe, them wipe your mouth. it's just to wipe your mm. mouth or I would even say fold it in half if you're given a glass that has ice and it's cold always wrap your glass with a serviette like this mm -hmm. okay of course I said serviette because in some countries like Australia South Africa you um, United Kingdom they don't actually say napkin they say serviette so it's a serviette but let's start with the napkin inside itself so depending on the size how do we deal with the napkin so mm. if it's breakfast like this um, just use it to wipe your mouth it doesn't have to go anywhere else it stays on the table or in the glass where you found it but if it is lunch now look at this these napkins come in sh all shapes all sizes all fabrics this is a nice small one this is more of a lunch one if you look at the size okay it's delicate it is usually for lunch not for dinner it's too thin for dinner also this one is thin as well also could be for lunch but as you can see it's a whole lot bigger you can fold this into two and use it appropriately and I'm going to show you that in a moment we have different types of napkins this is a thicker one thicker ones are more appropriate for dinner and they're usually as large larger than the other one can be folded into two and used the right way so your napkin depends on the quality the style the color what are you using it for you can still use this also for lunch or for a wedding because it's nice and thick and the quality is great but having said that because they're different shapes and sizes small usually for breakfast medium for lunch and large for dinner is for dinner all right now we all have napkins like this sometimes depending on the restaurant you're going to they have fancy ways of putting the napkin on the table they look so fancy you actually you don't, don't want, want to touch them to to undo them <laughs> so and and again if they've now added accessories like all these napkin holders that we have here you still might not want to touch them because it looks too pretty okay but the truth is you have napkin depending on your color scheme use appropriately don't go and use red and blue and then go and use a funny yellow color for the napkin ring use the appropriate colors so this is like a silver one of course this is metallic i think it's called color blocking not color blocking it's just color coding so color coding <laughs> with, the, with the theme so this is a metallic one this is actually twined okay um, some of my favorite ones are the ones that come out like this, that you can just wrap it around your napkin. So ideally, the best way to wrap it around a napkin, if you have to use a napkin holder, is hold it through the middle like this, shake it like this, hold it like this, and then depending on what type you have, you wrap it like this. Okay? So I have it wrapped up like this, and I place it on my table like that okay so your napkin holders then you have some that actually have the whole ring itself and a beautiful petal on the front of course the petal has to be showing it goes without saying okay and we have so many types here on the table here different colors and how to use your napkin ring but the truth is let's say I have a napkin ring this is one 
beautiful gold. It's placed on my table like this. What am I supposed to do next? Not look at it and admire it. I have to take it off like this. And you always place your napkin ring on the left of your table, of your, of your charger. Okay? So what do you do next? Do not do this. <laughs> so, but it's, not, it's not dusty. Uh, it's not dusty, but you know some people do that, and it's it, it doesn't look quite appropriate actually. So we all have napkins in our hands. How would you ideally in a restaurant, seeing your napkin beautifully placed on the table? How would you open up your napkin? Ah. Okay. Okay. Here it is. Okay. So we're taking exams now. <laughs> okay. I'm watching that yeah, okay. okay, okay, excellent. Okay. okay, let's see you. Well, as you said, depending yeah, on how, do, how I you feel, really would no, do seriously, it, yeah. depending on how I feel, I'll probably do that, spread it all out, and there you go. Okay, great. So, Auntie's right. Ideally, whenever you have a napkin, you, you, you don't shake it out, you just open it out nicely or remove the ring as I mentioned to you. You see the folded part? This folded part is the one that's closer to your stomach. And you place the folded part over your lap. You don't need to wait for anyone to come to the table in order for you to do that. Actually, as soon as you sit down, in case you forget, just open up your napkin and you're ready to eat. Even if you're going to the buffet table, just open up your napkin. Now, you're seated like this, this is the right thing to do. That's how you start with a napkin. It's always used to protect you. Now, please don't even think about how most people tend to do it, or a lot of people, I should say, and use it as a bib. That's a complete no-no. We don't want that. It doesn't look right. Even though it looks as if it's going to protect your white or whatever you're wearing, it's a complete no-no. You ideally just have to have it on your lap, and that's about it. Because what are you using the napkin for? Just to protect food that might fall out, okay? When you're using the napkin as well, there's nothing like mwah. You have to, don't blot with lipstick, please. And even at that, it's folded like this. Don't just say, oh, careful. No. <laughs> so what you have to do, you just take it out like that and you dab. You're only supposed to dab the sides of your mouth, yeah. It's not any posh way, it's just to say, okay, in case I was talking and there are bits there that I can't see, then you dab your mouth like that, okay? And once you've done that, then um, you want to take some water or something spills out of your mouth or you've just put some meat in your mouth and there's bone. You can't just say, pst, pst, pst. You just bring it up to your mouth and you take it out like that carefully. And even like that, you still have to put that on your charger, the bit of bone or whatever it is in your mouth. And if you don't like something at all and you need to spit it out, you can't use this napkin at that point in time. You need a disposable one to do that. And I would suggest use that, do that in a discreet place, you know, not, not in the eyes of everyone else. But having said that though, you want to get up from the table and your napkin is on your lap. The right thing for you to do is to tell the waiter that you're still eating, you're still coming back. And how do you do that? You place your napkin either on your seat or on the back of your seat, and the waiter will know that you're actually still coming back. If you don't do that, oh. the waiter thinks you've finished and you're going. So just in case you want to use the restroom or you want to receive a call, that's the best way in terms of dining etiquette language to indicate that you're still eating your food. Okay? I don't suppose that holds in Nigeria. It does. Because um, I know that for a fact that you finish eating, yeah. you close your plate indicating that you have finished eating and the waiter still comes up to you. Are, are you, you done? Are you done? <laughs> <laughs> of yeah. course I'm done. I've closed my plate. So in closing your plate, Auntie, the way to do that with your napkin actually